So I've noticed on the last couple of drives that the, the Jeep's temperature gauge when I'm either in traffic or idling standing still like I'm at the moment that the gauge is going up just over 210. Now usually that gauge is at 210 or slightly below and I have noticed that when it goes up to where it is at the moment I start hearing the fan, um, the electric fan cycling on and off. Now if you look at the service manual that is absolutely correct the fan should be cycling on and off the electric fan should be cycling on and off but my concern is is that the mechanical fan should be pulling the air through and if the mechanical fan is not uh, working correctly the fan clutch is probably the culprit so I have a very sneaky suspicion that my fan clutch um, the the viscous coupling is busy going out on the fan clutch so you may have seen in some of my earlier videos that I have already swapped out the water pump the thermostat and the radiator in this Jeep. So I'm really confident that we have a issue with the fan clutch and not with any of the other cooling components. So yeah, you can see my temperature where it is uh, usually at like a normal operating range. And this is where I'd expect to see it under normal conditions. What I'm gonna do today is actually swap out the fan clutch and I'll walk you through how I do that. So before I go ahead and uh, start doing this job, I actually just want to feel this fan clutch and uh, it's spinning very, very easily. Now, even when uh, the fan clutch is not engaged in the idle position, there is still supposed to be some resistance. And as you can see, this one spins just by flicking it. So I'm fairly confident that we have a bad fan clutch inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So in order to replace this fan clutch, I've got to remove the shroud. And then I've got to remove the tension on the belts, which I'll do through that one. But before I can back this one off, I've got to get all the way down there and loosen this idler pulleys bolt, which is down there. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to take the electric fan out. So the electric fan is going to come out. This is going to come out. That will get me access into this fan clutch at the back, which is way down there, so that I can get to those bolts that are all the way down there. Right, so I ran into a little bit of a struggle. I can't seem to get the shroud out past the fan clutch all the way down here. Now, I suspect it's got to do with this new radiator that has this rod in over here. And previously the radiators did not have this rod. So I, I was able to slide this out between the radiator and the fan clutch. So what I'm gonna do is leave it in there and I actually have got enough access to get to those bolts down there. And I'm just going to work through the fan clutch like this to get to those bolts. Then I'll remove the fan, fan clutch and shroud as one unit. I just got to remember to put them back in that same way when I start reattaching the um, new fan clutch down there. Also with the electric fan out the way, you can clearly see that I need to undo this idler over here. So I'm just going to slack that bolt off slightly. And then I'll use this bolt over here to remove the tension on the belt so that I can uh, freely swing that um, that part down there to be able to access all of those bolts. All right, so now that we've loosened this whole thing, we're just going to slide this fan off, and lift the whole thing out. So now that we've got this removed, you'll see that the fan is bolted onto the fan clutch with those four bolts over there. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and just undo these four bolts and then take the fan off the fan clutch. Now, uh, with the fan clutch out, the resistance feels a little bit higher than what I thought it was. So, uh, it, it might not be as bad as what I thought it was, but seeing that I've got the new part, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway. Right, so over here, you will see the fan clutch that I've just taken out of the Jeep. And over here, the new unit that I'm going to replace it with. And those of you who are observant will see that there's a very different size difference between these two units. I've actually gone ahead and ordered a heavy duty uh, fan clutch unit from Napa. So this over here is the exact part number of the unit which I have used. Now in doing my research, what I found was that you can get, and uh, I could only find it from Napa, a heavy duty version of the Jeep fan clutch. A viscous fan clutch allows for relative motion between the pulley and the fan. When the viscous fan is cool and in the slip mode, it allows for a lot of slip between the pulley and the fan, so that the fan runs actually very slowly compared to the pulley. When the viscous fan starts to heat up, it allows less motion between the pulley and the fan, effectively making the fan turn faster. 
The major difference between the standard fan clutch and the heavy duty fan clutch is that when it is locked or in the on position, it allows for less slip, meaning that the fan will draw more air through the radiator. So this Jeep originally came from uh, Indiana. And in Indiana, I would buy a slightly towards the colder fan, which has uh, a slightly uh, more slip or a lower percentage on. Seeing that we're going to be working this Jeep in California now, it is obviously much better to have a slightly more on fan, um, just both in idle and at full operations. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this unit on. Now the other thing that some people might see is that because of the size of this unit, we are actually going to cover some of the fan area. So I'm going to quickly slip my fan back on here, so that you can quickly see what I'm talking about. Once this fan is back on, what you'll see is that a little bit of the fan clutch now sticks out over there where this unit did not have that. Um, I, I've decided that that's okay. If you look at it from the side here, it's right in the beginning area of that fan. So it's not the most efficient part of the fan in any case. And I think that the uh, added on percentage of this fan is of more benefit than uh, the little bit of loss that we'll get in that area of the fan blades. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, clean this up and then install this fan back onto the new fan clutch All right <clears throat> To reinstall this the first thing you've got to note is that the fan has a front and a back Obviously, you've got to pull air in the right direction. So this is the front We're going to flip that to the front and slide it over the fan clutch You'll note that over here is a centering ring to make sure that this fan is in the center of the fan clutch So it's important that you don't have the uh, fan cocked but that it actually slips over the centering rings and then we're just going to install and uh, start all of these bolts into their holes. And the reason I don't drive these to start with is that if there is anything wrong, um, you've got to make sure that you thread them up correctly before you start. All right. And then the next step will be to torque these bolts to the required torque according to the service manual. Service manual requires 20 foot pounds on these bolts, so we've set our torque wrench and we're going to click all of those bolts off. And you'll see that while I'm working, I'm working in this like crisscross pattern here. So I'm doing uh, one bolt on this side and I'm just snugging it up right now. And then I'll do a bolt on this side and get it snugged up. Alright, so now that they're all snugged up, I can go ahead and start talking. I'm going to use a shorter extension. This one is a bit wonky. Right, so now that I've got the crisscross and the shorter extension, I'm going to just torque these bolts off to 20 foot pound. And you'll see I'm going across from that one. It's 20. 20. And the last one at 20. Right, so the fan is on the fan clutch. I can install the shroud now and then we can slide this unit back into place. <clears throat> right, with the new fan clutch installed, we're going to slide this whole unit back in again. Not forgetting to uh, make sure our shroud is part of this assembly we're sliding in. So, uh, important when we're installing the fan is to make sure that the uh, little pin that has to fit into the back of the fan clutch is aligned and that the flange seats um, well against the uh, pulley over there. So this looks good. We can go ahead now and start installing the nuts onto these uh, studs. So you might notice that there is no way to hold um, this uh, shaft down here. So what I'm using is I'm using a screwdriver which I'm wedging between the bolts which will allow me to counteract the uh, torque that I'm putting on with my wrench over the top here. So I use the screwdriver to hold it and then I can just use my wrench to tighten these nuts. And again, I'm going to go in this crisscross pattern, so I'm going to go and look for the nut on directly the opposite side here, wedge my screwdriver in there, and then tighten it. So 
So the service manual um, requires that these uh, bolts down here that attach the uh, the viscous drive to the pulley be torqued to 18 foot-pounds. Now my problem is there is just absolutely no way that I can get my torque wrench in there. Physically impossible. So the only way I could torque those would be using a crawl foot, which is a device that looks like the open end of the wrench, except I could put my torque wrench in over the side over there, so it has a uh, 3 8 opening for a torque wrench. I don't own a set of crawl foots, so uh, I'm not going to be able to torque these bolts to the required setting. What I'm going to do is just get them good and tight and make sure that uh, I'm happy that they are at 18 foot-pounds or above. And I will continue to use my screwdriver to wedge in on the one side and then just use the wrench to tighten them up. So the next thing I'm going to do is tension up the belt over here. Once the belt is tight, then I will um, lock it down here with the lock, with the lock bolt. Right, you don't want to over tension the belt because um, that would be bad for the life of the belt but you also don't want it too loose because then the belt will be squeezing so I'll go a little more that feels almost right the correct way to do this is actually to use a belt tensioning tensioning measurement tool which i don't have so i'm just going to use this as acceptable for now right all that's left to do now is to uh, tension up this bolt over here Great, with that in, we can now uh, put the electric fan back in and connect up the shroud for the mechanical fan. So I'm sitting here idling, trying to get the Jeep's temperature to go up to where it was beforehand, and it's not. So I think what's happening is that that viscous fan is actually um, not slipping as much as the old one was, which is um, actually allowing it to reach a, uh, a suitable temperature without fully engaging the uh, viscous fan clutch. So uh, we'll take it for a drive and then uh, see if we can get that fan clutch to engage. So it was a fairly quick job to get that uh, fan clutch changed out there. And uh, we'll see over the next few days um, as the weather gets hot again whether or not it has uh, solved the problem of that high temperature in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. 